Okay, welcome to a quick little thing on organic chemistry, and this is really uh, kind of important. It's about the nomenclature, which is, means how we name organic chemicals. So the question is, why really should we even care? Well, one of the reasons is if you walk into a grocery store, 99.9% .9 of the stuff that you're going to find there uh, are carbon-containing chemicals, which is what we mean by organic chemicals uh, that you can safely ingest in your body or use in your body. So this is a pretty big deal. Um, and what we're gonna do is just do a couple of these little short courses on naming uh, with just a few rules you can figure it out pretty easily. So if you look right here, uh, first step that we need to be able to do is we have to be able to count to 10. <laughs> and what you're gonna need to know for this is these prefixes, okay? So whenever we have uh, meth, eth, prop, bute, pent, hex, hepta, hept, oct, non, or dec, uh, that means we've got one through ten carbons in a chain. Uh, if this uh, if this right here ends in ane, like methane, butane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, that means they're uh, it's like that many carbons. They're bonded to each other, and they uh, to have four carbon four bonds on each carbon uh, H's make them up like methane. One carbon. There's a bunch of H's around it, and uh, Ethane, again, a carbon bonded to a carbon, it's the two carbons, and the rest are our H's. Now, if we keep on doing this, um, we'll get really tired of drawing out all those H's, and so scientists tend to take a shortcut. Uh, and if you look right here, and I'll show some of these shortcuts, but one, this is one shortcut. So this is propane. They show the first carbon with the three H's, then they show the last carbon with the three H's, and it's assumed that this carbon right here this is a carbon with two H's. At least don't draw the H's. And it's the same for all these hexane, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And we can assume if it's a not a, if it's carbon bonded to a carbon, to get four bonds to each carbon, there are H's that make that up, okay? Um, so this is slightly different way. And sometimes they don't put the CH3s on the end so to where like, for instance, this would be hexane. And uh, you can see here's one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in a row. And we're assuming that if like this carbon is bonded to this one, that's one bond, and then the other three that would make it up would be those edges. Um, so you gotta know this. Now the other thing that we need to know uh, is that what happens when we put stuff on there? Well, um, again, we need to count to 10 again. And now let's suppose that we take a little carbon chain, like, like this three carbon chain here, and we stick it on something, and we'll call that something R. It doesn't really matter what it is. If this R were an H, we would call it propane. But when there's the one H missing and everything else is there, it's called propyl. So you can imagine instead of having CH3, if we had CH4, if we had CH3 bonded to something, it would be called methyl. This would be called ethyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, okay, hexyl, and so on. So the question is, okay, let's start putting these things together and coming up with some simple rules. So these are going to be called IUPAC rules, um, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemists. Uh, now, I know this looks like a lot. It's really not too bad. So we have these carbon chains with just carbons and hydrogens and single bonds. That means that they are completely saturated, right? They got all kinds of hydrogen on them. So step number one, you want to name uh, the longest carbon chain in the, mo in the molecule. That's like the parent name, okay? So count the number of carbon chains, or excuse me, longest carbon chain. Uh, next, any side groups. So think of methyl, ethyl, or propyl. If you've seen those hanging off, you put those, you identify them, and put them in alphabetical order. Those go in front of the parent name. Um, if there are several groups attached, like let's say you have two methyls. Instead of calling it methyl, methyl, we would call it a dimethyl. And here are some, some prefixes. Okay? And again, these prefixes, again, they look familiar. Remember, 1 through 10, okay? Then finally, we basically assign a number to the uh, to the um, groups that are coming off, and to get that number, we count the carbons in the chain, and we find the lowest set of numbers, and we also look for the first uh, point of difference. So you always want to have the lowest set of numbers. Now, I realize I would write these down because you need to have them by your side as we do some examples. So let's take a look at some real quick. Um, I think this would be the easiest way to do it.
Okay, so here we go. So this one right here, if I can't, let's find the longest chain. Uh, longest chain is gonna be this right here. If I count those carbons, I get one, two, three, four, five. Five carbons. Uh, and if I have five carbons there, there is um, the one, two, three, four, five. Therefore, the uh, on the third carbon is this right here, which is a methyl. So there's a mistake here. This should not be two methyl pentane. It really should be three methyl pentane. So let's fix that right now. Okay, so this should be three methyl pentane. Yeah, so it's three methyl pentane. Um, and that three is not drawn very well, but I think you get the idea. Now let's go back and check the next one, okay? Um, uh, let's check this one. So if I look right here, one, two, three, four, five. Well, look, there's the two methyl pentane, okay? So this would be one, two, three, four, five. That's two methyl pentane, okay? So we had three methyl pentane and two methyl pentane. Uh, this one right here, let's see if we can figure out what this one is. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know there's a hexane. The first change is right here. Okay, the first change right here. So that's one chloro, two methyl, and those are in alphabetic order. So one chloro, two methyl goes to that one. Uh, three carbons right here. That's propane. Uh, now let's check this one out. Okay, let's find the longest chain. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's octane. Uh, we also know, if we look at the groups there, we now have this one, which is ethyl, and then there's a methyl and a methyl here. So you go one, two, three, four, five, or you go one, two, three, four. First point is here, it's lower numbers. So that would, and, and again, ethyl comes before methyl. So it's four ethyl, there's the fourth carbon. 2222-dimethyl, two, 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 okay, dimethyl octane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, what I would encourage you to do now, uh, turn this off now and, and do some problems because that would be the best way to see it. Um, okay, so if you're back, quickly, let's take a look at alkanes and, and alkynes. Now, uh, sometimes we have what are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. And if we have unsaturated hydrocarbons, basically what we're finding is that we have a uh, double bond. So there's uh, one thing that could happen is these double bonds are called alkenes. Ends in E and S. Okay, so this would be ethene. And we don't need to put a number that, we don't have to call it one ethene because it, it's the only place we can put it. This is called, not drawn very well, but this is called one, two, this is called th one, two, three, four, five. So this would be called two, two, pentene. So here's one carbon, two carbons, and that should be a double bond, okay? So again, try and, try and do a, f a few of these and, and see if you can do it. Um, okay, so now, um, here, here's a, another example. So now instead of, um, instead of uh, the double bonds, you could have a triple bond as well. So a triple bond right here, this would be called, instead of an alkene, it's an alkyne, ends in Y and E. Um, so they always end in Y and E. And uh, as an example, uh, instead of a double bond, it'd be a triple bond. So where you see ethine, uh, there's the triple bond. Uh, here is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five carbons. We know it's pentine. We just have to tell us where it is. So it's one, two, it's two pentine instead of one, two, three pentine because two pentine is a lower number than three pentine. So we've done alkanes with alkyl groups on them um, and we've done alkenes and alkynes. So at this time, again, best thing you can do stop this uh, video right now and uh, you have to practice and then we'll come back and talk about a few other things.